as sharp as iron. We thank you that one man is sharper than another man. And we thank you, God, that we as the younger generation look to the older. And from so many experiences, Lord, we glean such grace and mercy. And Lord, oftentimes at the end of the day, we look back and we think, I wish I could be more like I wish I could react more like Father, I thank you for this man who has lived many years on this earth and has so many more to live. And Father God, I come against every thought of hopelessness. I come against every lie of ineffectiveness. And I declare, God, that you are not going to let one more day go by that there isn't the fruit that comes off of this tree. There isn't the wonderful fruit that comes off of this tree that he sees. God, there is an encouragement in this man. There is a sweetness that flows from this man to his sons. Lord, and I declare that all of his sons are going to rise up and call this man blessed. And Lord, that he will not base his effectiveness in his life on the compliments he gets or the rewards that he walks in. But he will know inside that he knows that he knows that he is living his life for you. That he is selling out everything for you. And God, that you see it. And you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. You are a God who answers the prayers of a righteous man. And that we, none of us, stand here righteous in our own act. But we come before you by the blood of Jesus, adorned with the righteousness of Christ. And we ask, Lord, that you take care of his family. Take care of his children and his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. And Father, that this marriage is so established that there is nothing they can't talk about. And that they glean from each other. Lord, once it was ended, but you brought it back together. And you are complete with your story. And you are not done with either of these two. Father, you have not completed this journey. You have not said, you have done. Well, now enter your rest, Lord. This is not a time for this marriage to rest, but for this marriage to rise up. There are many in this family that need to hear the wisdom and the experiences. And whether they listen or not is not for you to decide. You don't decide if they heard you or not. Yours, says the Lord, is to simply speak and to share. And let me use you as a vessel of my sight and my wonder. Holy Spirit, give him all that he can handle. God, all that he can take, all that he can bear. Lord, I come against everything that will be trying to convince him down here. By entering up here. That he's worthless. That he's not leaving. God, I'm calling everything here in his heart just to begin to rise up and overcome what's going on in his mind. And God, you should not be done with him. Show that to him quickly. And let him see that your work is not complete and it is not done in his life. And there's so much more. I come against memory loss. I come against confusion. In Jesus' name, Lord, right now, by the blood of Jesus, we come against distractions and lies of the enemy. Father God, that you would place such a valuable treasure in this body, in this church, in this town. Lord, I know that Pops is loved by many people and appreciated for all of his works. God, let him know that he doesn't have to work to be loved. But that he's loved because of who he is. Restore him. Don't just restore him back up. In Jesus' name.